Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the professor with Day Trading for Success. Today, we will be trading low share size. I have made my weekly nut uh, with yesterday's uh, trading, so did very well on that. We'll be trading NVIDIA, and we'll only be trading 25 shares. So we're going to see how much money can you make with 25 shares, which is the share size that most people will trade in, like under 50 on a stock like NVIDIA, maybe 10, maybe 5 shares. And they try to eke out $100, $200, $300 a day, which is basically what this channel is about. So make sure you read this disclaimer. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. These videos are just for entertainment and demonstration uh, purposes only. So you really should um, trade in a simulator and don't try to emulate any of these strategies without speaking to a professional. So this is what's considered to be the perfect one minute layout. All the layouts and the custom scripts that I've done are all available for free. We don't sell any courses. So you can look at the different episodes, many different episodes to find these. 83 has most of the scripts. The last episodes, um, 68, 67, 167, 168, 166, 165. I don't know, all those newer ones have uh, variations of the scalpers indicator, which is the most popular custom script that I've done with help with some of my subscribers in AI. I'm actually right now rocking the Million Dollar Margin Club one because I gave them the rights to use this. And um, they kind of they made a couple of changes, but um, I'm just checking it out. I kind of I kind of like it. Mostly the custom scripts will say DTS day trading for success and they're all free. I just don't want other people to take them and go sell them. I want them to be free for the community as the layouts. Um, so today we'll be trading the RV strategy, which was uh, first developed back last March and has basically changed day trade, the day trading scene forever by showing that with you can trade large cap st stocks like scalping like you can small cap or micro cap and you can make good money in a lot more safety so that's why this strategy was developed it's a specific strategy there's it's very easy once you get into i mean any strategy is complicated if if it's new to you but especially if you're new to trading i'll try to walk through it here we have about 10 minutes till we start trading but i'll walk through a little bit of what this is now you can get the entire strategy and i highly recommend it by buying day trading volume one the best-selling book there's a reason why it's best selling it outlines this range bound strategy as well as just how to trade generally but which has been recognized by ai as being like the top strategy out there one of the top strategies the top few strategies so i'll go over it though and i have a whole video about it if you don't want to buy the book um, i just think it's worth the investment one good trade and you paid for the book so that's day trading volume one other book i'd recommend getting if you get just getting into trading is trading in the zone because that's going to get your head right the way you need to think about it and it might be a little soon even it's almost like you got to trade for a little while and and, and be depressed before you read that book, but that book's helpful. Best Loser Wins, another one. All, all these have links. I, I, I really only promote books that I like. Um, the Day Trading Volumes 1, 2, and 3, Best Loser Wins, and then um, Trading in the Zone uh, are, are my top-of-the-line books that I would get. So anyway, so what is this strategy? How does it work exactly? This is a day chart that was minimized down there. So basically, you look at the close of the previous day, which is just to the right of my picture. It says $857.74. I'll explain all this mess in a minute. It's really not much of a mess when you get into this, right? So there's the, you see the close up there. Now you look at the ATR, the average true range over a 14-day period, a mathematical formula. I go back over the candle. Keep an eye on that number. All right, so that number now says $38.76. If you divide that in half, you have $19.04 roughly. It's not 76, it's, eight, it's uh, um, sorry, $38 and, uh, yeah, $38.776. So you divide that, you're getting $19 roughly and four cents. So you subtract $19 from the close right here. You subtract it just on a calculator um, and you get the ATR low. That's going to be the low end of our range. And then you add it to the close and you get the ATR high. So a high, low. This is our first range. It's a range bound strategy. The stock's supposed to trade in here and give us a, you know, a, some safety knowing that it won't fall beyond that. Now I have to say, normally this number should say five or six dollars. That's how the strategy was. Um, 
developed. This has been kind of a crazy year, and everybody wanted to trade NVIDIA this morning. It's still rated pretty high. There's a rating system for this strategy, and it's still rated um, high enough to trade it. It is like trading the Wild West. But So that's how you start. We're in a range, right? Now we need pivot points. We need support and resistance levels. We need ceilings and floors to help us decide to get in and get out. They're not just in random positions. They're in exact positions where they should be, where the stock has turned around or there's a likelihood due to a mathematical formulas that they will stop or turn around again or at least hesitate before they continue to move, allowing you the chance to decide what you want to do. So let's take a look at what that means. So if I go over here to my five-minute chart and I expand it, and I do that, you're going to see a 10, day, 10 days of five-minute candlesticks, right? So a Fibonacci level, you should read that in the book or any book or look it up online or ask AI, what does Fibonacci mean? It's basically how every, every flower petal is the same and every circle in a tree is the same and, and our cell structures. And I mean, it's just like this formula, like we were all created by something mathematical and we, nobody knows the answer. But it's real. <laughs> it, it definitely is, is, uh, is there, and they've proven it. Every, every wing on an insect, the legs, the, you know, just everything. So this formula is very highly respected. So you always do it from left to right, whether it be high or low, and I picked a 10-day to do it. So I mark them, I tag them, and then this, this formula opens up inside here, the different levels, and then people respect these levels. They trade, but you can see how the stock turned around. So this is not just randomness, right, at these levels. Look at the one down here, bang, bang, bang. And then here it rested along it. It was not, not normally ex exact, <coughs> but it's pretty close. So we get those in there to get our first levels. And then we open another five minute that's minimized down here to get our next levels just two days back. So this is going to be newer. So we're looking for two days back. This is from high to low here, but it's always left to right, remember. So take them to mark, mark the two extreme um, highs and lows from left to right. And then that opened up and gave us even more levels in between here. So we ended up with at least four Fibonacci levels to help us. Now, what else do we use to help us, to help us turn around and to make channels? Well, if you read the strategy, you'll see after lots and lots of testing by professional traders, and this is why it's not random. I mean, the professional traders figured this out. The four hours, the one hours, the 15 minute and the five minute candle wicks and bodies, you start with the furthest back and see if you can create the channel, a channel's tight enough that you want to trade within for your, for your risk reward ratio, which is developed like no other strategy based on channel size. So if you're not new, you know what I'm talking about and you should give it a look because it's, it really helps you control your losses rather than that simple old two to one. And it also tells you when to get in and out based on these channels. So why would we mark the wicks and bodies? Why do people mark anything, right? Because of patterns. <coughs> There's a pattern of people turning around or the pattern of people uh, setting alarms to buy in. There's a pattern of people, the pattern that people follow um, to, to move at this four hour level. And when you're doing it at a four hour, you're kind of combining the one hour, the 15 minute, the five minute, um, the 30 minute, the, you know, all the different levels. They're sort of combined in a four hour. So the four hour is going to be the most respected. But if your lines, if you don't get enough support and resistance lines and your channels are just too big for you to trade, then you might want to go down to the one hour. And then these are going to tighten up because there'll be little different places to mark. And then from there, you might want to go down to the 15 minute. And the book explains that. Now, when you're trading these levels, right, when you're going in and out, and it's hard to see on a four hour a little bit, but if the action were to break, the like say you got into a long position at a floor and it's and the volume you look you look for multi chart alignment you look for the volume to be increasing you look for a lot of indicators the more you know about trading and scalping the easier it is but let's just say you didn't know anything about that right and you're trading five shares and the stock is has just broken through this ceiling this candlestick just just went up here say all right so you're get able to get in right at the floor like a place where you can stand that has support support right and it keeps going up. If it goes right back down, oops, it's not going up. I'm going to get out of my trade immediately 
because it didn't go up. But it's going up. Now you have the top of the channel to say, this is the ceiling. It might not break through. Get ready to take your profit. Whatever size your channel is, get ready. Now you're looking at the scalpers indicator. You're looking at the volume to see if it's wicked strong as it goes up. You know, you're looking at other things that you're, you know, you're going to try, try to hold it till you break the ceiling. Right. And, if, and then you might just keep going. But if it breaks the ceiling, as the book explains with many examples, and then goes back through and has the power to break through the floor, get out. So now you've taken this profit, you've managed your losses here, and you've, and you've taken the best profit here, and then you do it all over again if it starts to move back up. Or you write it down, shorting. If you're, if you're not afraid to short, it's just another way to trade. You, 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 you bet that it's going to go down, and then you're going to get ready to get out here because it might bank off that. That's basically how simple it is. And the lines aren't random right? The lines are based on people turning around that we have evidence of, that we have a pattern of. So when you really think about it, it's like, why wouldn't you mark these for any type of trading? So I'm going to be calling the ball for people today. It's a thing called quarterbacking that um, they have a lot of people like in prop firms that walk around and make sure people don't blow their accounts and, and make suggestions. It's been going around forever. They call it call the ball or quarterbacking. It's been before they were even funding ever, other traders and they just work for firms. Um, so that's something that I do. I know how to do, but I am not a licensed financial advisor and all the traders that are trading with me today on Zoom know that and they take their own risks and trade. But obviously they want to hear what I have to say and I'll be you know, calling it the best I can. So we'll be doing 25 shares and we're going to try to make the most we can possibly make with this low share size to say like, it's, can day trading for success show you how to make $100 a day, $200 a day, $300 a day? Can we show you how to make a difference in your life? Maybe quit that second job or not do those overtime hours or whatever, or find something you have a passion for that's really should be fun um, as long as you're not losing. Nobody likes to lose. That's not fun. <laughs> so... Um, so this is my five minute. This is the level two, which on a large cap, which is a $25 billion minimum market cap, $1 billion minimum float. These don't matter much because you're always going to get filled and nothing here is going to really stop your 25 shares here or there. But I mean, it's not just about getting it. It's about you reading the next movement. And on large cap, it's very, very hard to get that Um uh, is that oh god that was really the spread there so nvidia has a crazy spread so guys i'm looking at this and it banked off this fib so um it, it's really going up toward the atr so it seems like this has just been a, a constant climb so it's kind of a no-brainer to go long here we always start a half hour after market opens so but the only thing that worries me is this atr everybody's ready right okay so we've got just a few seconds to start trading here when this candle closes. So will this four hour be a respect for it? It could be. Let's see what happens here. Oops, I'm not selling you ask. What am I doing here? So we've got about 20 seconds, guys. I'm looking. It looks to be. Uh, the ATR seems to be getting respected like it was earlier, and it looks like it's going to turn around. Hello, kitty. Yep, that means good luck. If you guys watch me a lot, the cat comes up. That means we're going to make some money. So I am looking to short this, and we're going to short it right now. What did I get it at? 877.15. I started exactly on time, guys. Don't move my entire screen. What is your issue today? Yeah, you're in front of the screen. Yeah, you have to You have to move out of it. Yeah, you have to move away from the. Yep, you got to. I can see that you are really going to obey me today. Uh so I'm looking to reverse here. Uh, I just don't know when yet. So can we get back down to, are we just going to stay here? Because this could just be a retest and it could take off like it kind of did over here. Or it could keep going down. So we've got a pretty good trade to start for this low share size. So um, yeah, it's kind of, it's just a little difficult to concentrate with you. Uh, doing your crap here but yeah do not lay on the keyboard do not yeah okay oh, you're showing them your ass that's nice okay you want to move now you want to move over there and relax on top of the big giant mouse pad there you go you like mice i'm going to reverse right there on that four hour 
I got it at 875.47, uh, 875.47 long guys. So I banked uh, over 40 bucks there. Still going down. I'm going to get ready to reverse again. Did she actually hit this mic? Is this mic still broadcasting? I don't have Charlie with us today. It seems like it is. Good. Okay. Oh, I have a sensitive. I'm using the, the smaller cord on this mic, and it can be uh, pretty sensitive rather than that bigger cable. Everybody's green. I like to see that. We're doing good here, guys. So let's see if we're going to bank off this four hour again. That's 877.63. Let's count on it, quite frankly. I'm looking at the market maker here. It's just hovering. It's very, ATR is very, I didn't go into, yeah, I did. I went into, we have ATRs. Yeah, so it's very, very highly respected. Um, Wow, is it not? Uh... I think it's turned around. I thought it was going to go up there, but I'm going to get that. Where did I get that at? 877.24, which is, uh, it's not there, but it's not too bad. So that banked me up to $73, but I went red for a second. So we're banking on red a little bit here. So let's look at our patterns for a minute. And let's look at the scalpers indicator and take a breath here. We've got a cushion now. So you see the volume profile coming in. So now when you see this action, we have it above and below. When you see it moving, that's the more likely way the action will go basically because that's already happened the price action you saw the point of control pull up so that's kind of like tap 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 you know that's the way i like to look at it like it's alive it's tap tapping it to go up so we got to keep an eye on that um sometimes there's a flush before it happens you know pulled back down you have it down here too so we want to see if these are going to move it's, I, I look at this like it's alive. Now, obviously, this has already happened, you know, but that's all we got, guys. We've only got what's already happened except for the level two. And then once those transactions are made and decided by the market maker, maker who, who does the best they can on the spread for everyone. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to take that, guys. So I'm, it's, it's resting on that. So I got it at 875.34. I interrupt myself all the time. But I'm looking at that, the fact that it's going to grind on the point of control pulled up here. And we have a solid uh, 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 support many, many times. It's worth taking the chance. And the fact that it seems like it wants to, I'm, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Uh, the move is up right now. We're looking to go long right now. So let's not get caught up in a couple of short moves here. Uh, let's look at the bigger picture. We've got a cushion. So now we're banging against the ATR again. So it's kind of made a flat top along here. So we're looking either it's going to be a flat top break down or a flat top break up. That's a, out. That's a pattern. And if it breaks out here, we have a huge gap. It's like, it's like a black hole. Look at it like a swirling um, black hole. Just gravity just as it, as it spins, it goes faster and faster and faster and goes further and further down the hole. But anyway, uh, sorry, that's my whole uh, fascination with science. But um this will, there's no big supports or resistance is the real, is the real facts here. Nothing marking this. So if you believe in marking the candlestick patterns in the candle wicks, which I think a lot of traders really do, if you uh, uh, believe in prior uh, patterns and actions affecting current or future, if you believe in all that, then, oh my goodness, you have a problem today. Yeah, you need to, you need to go find your bed. Um, then, um, you know, that would mean this is going to just go right up to the next pattern. Now, this is the, the uh, top of the volume um, value, volume profile value, and that's the bottom. So that's also telling you when to turn around. Um, so it's just, it's just hovering here. I could have probably taken a small cap there, a scalp there, if this stupid pixie bob wasn't uh, like rubbing on everything in sight. 
when cats rub on thing that things that they say that means they have taken ownership so uh, she owns me and owns all my computers and my keyboard and she's got an attitude and she's half bobcat that's what a pixie bob is so they they can be a little they have seven toes okay and and that means seven claws okay move on and when she gets <laughs> angry suddenly they're on you you know <laughs> so i treat her with respect okay so it, it broke guys look at this trade for for uh, 25 shares this is amazing and i don't want to lose it so let's keep a close eye here can it get all the way up now we're looking at even dollars 880 is a good spot um to to try around or go right up to 881 where that four hours is is four hours is is um so it's losing a little bit of its way here i don't want to lose this great trade but i'm definitely going to wait it out look at the scalpers indicator it's definitely telling you most of it's up not down it's a it's a really good indicator it's the second best thing to being proficient at level two it spells out what's happening inside these candles for you green is the, the buyers red is the sellers and blue is the basic volume that's the way you should look at it okay so it hit 880 so but it didn't for the market maker i'm i'm really thinking 880 is more like where we want to it doesn't look like it's going to make it up there so it might take it a second try so be careful up here don't lose this i'm going to take that what did i get that 880 20 i shorted so that did not that's not all the way up because that's 881 so I'm could be I will manage my bad position and make mostly you guys have seen me trade. I wanted to bank it and not have it shoot straight down. And then I go, oh, I wish I would have sold that. So now it could just keep going because I'm bucking the trend. So I will manage it if it breaks this 80, if it breaks this level, like I just was explaining a minute ago, the strategy tells you turn around. So I'll go the other way and I'll take a little hit. But, you know, I think it was better to bank it. But I don't know. I mean, if I could call every trade perfectly, that would be great. I can't do that. So um, I still think the move is up for the most part. But let's wait and see if I can capture some of these scalps. This could be a hanging man, a man with a fat head. This, this is an upward trend. So you need to look at these patterns as possible. The only thing that could possibly be is a hanging man, if it's any pattern at all. Now you're, you're, you're creating possibly a bearish tweezer. It depends on where this candle closes. Um, okay, instead, of, that is definitely a hanging man. So that is a reversal sign that this is going to continue to go down. So we're going the right way. Watch the scalpers indicator. Watch the buyers. It's hitting the nine. I'm going to reverse off that, guys. I'm banking it and reversing off that nine and that four hour. Nope, it's going to keep going. So that was a bad move. Oh, I might reverse right back here. Let's see. Oh, dear. And this is, oh, but this is coming in. So that's a good sign for me. So that could pop up this point of control, which would literally be like a springboard for this to go back up. So let's keep, let's keep a close eye here. I'm not going to bail yet. Yes, I did reverse when the stock was going my way. I do it all the time. We can talk about it in chat if you'd like, but uh, in comments. But it is a strategy of mine to manage my bad trades. That's my strategy, <laughs> manage my bad trades. So I'm looking for it to get back up here, maybe at the top of this candle at least. We'll see. I'm going to try to take some little scalps in here. Look, we can't. We only have 25 shares. We got to we got to try to make some money here. It's just not going to break. It's not going to break uh, 80. It's not going to get up there again. 79.50 maybe. Can I get 79.50 to turn around? Doesn't seem like it's going up. There's 80. I missed it. I missed it. Damn. My button wasn't on the, my finger wasn't on the button. I'd slipped off of it. That was annoying. 
I, I saw that hit 80 for a split second. So let's see if it breaks uh, through it. And I'm going the wrong way again. But I banked over $300 by playing it that way. Oh, boy. I get just as stressed, you know, with if you, I mean, you guys probably don't think I get stressed. But I mean, inside. <laughs> It doesn't matter the share size, right? It just in your in your mind. It just um, you still that you still don't want to lose the trade. It does matter. I mean, I don't want to contradict myself. If you're feeling fear, your share size is too high. With me, I just want every trade to be correct. I'm uh, I'm you're watching, <laughs> so I've got that pressure too, right? So I want every trade to be su successful, whether it be one share or a thousand shares. I want to call it right for everybody. Uh, right now, I'm 879.88 short. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about the position. Uh, it's got a cushion there. It's just playing in between these two channels. Like I was saying, it shoots up. It didn't do it. It stopped in the middle, and and, and just so I could look bad, and didn't it didn't shoot up here. It al it's almost like there's some sort of level here we don't know about, um, and that's entirely possible. Might be on the one hour. Or there's some new players. I mean, there's no guarantee, right? So all these things, like, like Mark Douglas tells you in his book, Trading in the Zone, I mean, all these things uh, that give you an edge just give you a higher probability of being correct. That's all. You're changing the probabilities. Probability and outcome. You're changing it. That's all you're doing. So I'm looking to bank off. I, I might go, oh, the point of control pulled up. I didn't even see it. Okay. So that pulled up. So now we're up here. It pulled up into the channel. It's right. It's right. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm going to get ready to reverse on that, guys. I'm going to take that. Oh, they get that. 877.24. So I'm, I'm banking off that ATR. I'm thinking that ATR is going to push it up. Although, not really looking too good. I'm going to reverse there. I'm trying to catch some little scalps here. Got three. I didn't think we were going to make 300, so we're doing good. Not even halfway. So it looks like we should make 500 with this kind of action if we don't get flushed out here. So it is break. Looks like it's breaking the eight. I'm going to go ahead and reverse right there and see if it bounces up again, off that ATR. I'm eight seventy six thirty nine long. I'm looking for double digits to reverse again. Well, I'm down at seventy five. Reversed again, got over 400. I'm short again. 876.68, short. Not liking it. I'm not liking the action. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip around there. Yeah, I'm not liking it. So let's see if uh, it just looked like it was, it was going to, that ATR was going to pull it right back up. You got your point of control up here, and the way it was hovering here, you know, but now it looks like I made a mistake. Look at that seller's indicator. Look at that scalper's indicator. So, oh, well, I've got a nice big cushion, so I'm going to ride this. Um, I should have said my max loss is $50 per trade, double this year size. So two points is my max loss that I set today. We talked about it. I just forgot to share it with you guys. Um, oh, my goodness. Seriously? Three times? I know you have food, so don't give me that stuff. Yeah, please don't put your ass on my mic. You literally, she's rubbing the big screen here. For those of you that aren't cat lovers, I apologize. Oh, boy. Okay, you really, you do, you know, you're going to have to move along. Yeah, you have, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me there. That was so make wise choices for me. Uh, 
I've got 877 24 Eight, I'm eight seventy seven uh, seventy one. I mean, uh, I looked at the twenty four dollars. Eight seventy seven seventy one short. Yep, I guess I called that wrong here. So it looks like it wants to go up. So I just kind of I, I have to make a choice here pretty soon to reverse back. It's grinding at the point of control. So I've got a little minute here. Let's see if it pulls me back down. There it goes. All right, she seems to have settled on the mouse pad for those of you that care. You don't want to, with a cat, you don't want to, besides not wanting to be attacked, you don't want to do things that changes their personality, you know, so you don't want to get them to be scared and shoo them. And that's just my way I raise cats. And I've raised dogs and cats and had huge, some of you have heard my stories. I was going around, went around the world with a big schooner with four cats and four dogs. So when you're out in the high seas and, uh, there's no one to commune with you. You start to talk to your cats and dogs. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, yes, I know, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna let you continue to interfere with my trading. This is definitely the most ever, and I feel like you're gonna unplug something. So come on, come on, let's let's go lay down and calm down. Oh, I don't have any helper actually in in the studio today, so she could wreak havoc havoc here. Um, okay, guys, eight seventy seven seventy one short still. It's come back around to be a not terrible position. Is it going to break that ATR, or am I going to flip it right here? Looking to see if it breaks that ATR. No, it does not. It seems like the ATR is going to support it right up there. So, whoa, whoa, there it goes. There it goes. Get ready to reverse. Get ready to reverse down there, guys. I'm going to take that 875.56. What was that four hour at? 875. Okay, so I took it a little higher than I wanted, but that's okay. We banked over five. How's everybody doing up there? Okay, most of you are two, three hundred. There's a four hundred. So you're right there. You're right with me. So here's what it liked to play before. Now let's see if it's going to swell back up to maybe up here, or is it just going to turn around right there again? So you look at the 15 minute, you had a spinning top here, which would tell you it's going down. And then here, you know, this is a reversal from the bottom of the trend here with a hammer pushing it up, a spinning top saying it's going down, but it didn't. Then you had a, a bearish tweezer, which would send it down as well. So neither of these patterns have been respected yet. Get the pattern of volume two. Get day trading volume two, guys. It has all the how to read the patterns. Now, here you got a rickshaw man going down, which is telling you that this is going to go up if you want to. And, and I like the one minute patterns more than I like to get alignment, you know, to see. You got to look at the bigger ones too to say, like, hey, did we make a bear or a bull flag? You know, have we got something else going on here? And then you're looking at the scalpers indicator as well looking at how the volume, the volume's for the most part been continuing to decrease. And um, you want to see if it's, you have an increase or a decrease with a certain direction with buyers or sellers to give you more confidence. Right now I have this as my fail safe. If it breaks through this channel, I would get out through this floor. Uh, I'm looking for it to break back through the ATR, but if it fades down here, then we have, then we have a whole nother move to go short, probably down to this fib. Um, because of my position though, 56, which is right here, roughly, I've got a pretty good position to ride this out 
you know, there it goes. It broke through there for a second, so that's not good. Um, it's going back up again. So um, this could be a, uh, a morning star, shooting star, uh, although it's not at the top. So it's not really inverted. The, the, this is, these aren't really patterns. I'm trying to find something here. There's nothing there, really. Nothing definitive. Uh, and as it is, the patterns aren't 100% definitive anyway. So you need to find them that at least look like. What, what makes a pattern work? Well, everybody else has to see the same thing. That's it. Everybody else sees the same thing. They jump in on what it's supposed to happen, and then the pattern works. It's self-fulfilling. We make it work. That's all it is. That's how simple it is. So you, have, you try to find something in a pattern that other people would recognize. That's it. Um, and more and more people since COVID have been really getting into patterns and really changing the way all the old dinosaur traders like me think, although I've always tried to look ahead you know, as a trader, but... Um, it's not just about the day chart patterns, you know, or, or the or the four hour chart patterns, you know. It's about the one minute chart patterns now. That the re there's so many retail traders now um, that are doing this just kind of on the fly. That you want to okay. So that's a you actually laid on my mouse when I let go of it. Okay, there goes the point of control down, then up. Wow. So this is definitely telling me it's going to go up. Look at that. Look at that right there, guys. Okay, that's the scalpers indicator, which is the number one tool you're going to want to get. It's free on this channel. You should grab. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I'm not about to leave. I just forget to ask for that. But the only thing we're looking for is your viewership. That's it. That's all we want. Um, no courses, nothing like that. No ulterior motives except to maybe you get successful because that would make me very happy. Okay, so the higher end of this volume profile value area is telling you it's going to turn around at 880. So let's just see if it keeps going up. But the strength of it is incredible. I kind of want to bank some of this. This is pretty good. Uh, we're making more money than I thought we'd make today. So, But look at, look at what happened here. So, hey, dude, you can't literally lie on top of my hand. Okay. Man, you must have some problem going on. You're normally not like this. Okay, I actually have to move the mouse. Wow. Here being a maroon. My kitty's being a maroon. Uh, let's see. You know, to tell you the truth, though, if this was, you know, a $900, I wouldn't act any differently with the cat being here. I just don't, I don't care that much real I mean, obviously I care about money, but I'm just saying I'm not going to let it, I'm going to, I'm going to be, uh, think that it's good. It's a muse. It's a good luck, right? It's good luck for me. I can work around it. Um, and look at this. Never expected that high. So now we have a spinning top. Uh, if you want to call that a trend, this is a reversal pattern. This is a reversal pattern. This is now starting to make a rickshaw man. So these two in a row would start to think, and this would make me think, take profit and ride the reverse uh, down the other way. So I'm just, whoa, 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 except for that, 99% on the scalpers indicator, breaking that level and the four hour. Is the four hour going to turn it around? Get ready, guys. Oh, I almost pressed reverse. Wow. Look at that go. Look at that go. Okay, so I'm not going to fight this trend, guys. Look at the four hour. That is an amazing trade for 25 shares. So we got four points on this right here. Man. This is outstanding. Yeah, I don't I don't really know how to call this. I'm I'm saying hold. I would hold until we see a drop off down here. I, I would hold and, and not and not try to get a baby scalp here. This is too good. Um, yeah, these this is just straight across buyers here. Higher volume with buyers right off the charts here with buyers. So there is no reason to turn around here. So all the 15 minute, the five minute, everything says go go go. Just put the pedal to the metal and get ready to reverse if it seems like it's diving. 
we see like this is a start of a, of a of a little bit of a concern here. So be careful here. It's a very very long shadow wick on a very sensitive platform, telling me that there's indecision. But if it breaks that four hour. There it goes. I am not calling this indecision any longer. So this is winning out. It's definitely a spinning top now. I would definitely call that a trend. And that's a turnaround signal. This is closing like maybe a hanging man, a turnaround signal, but they're just defying all the signals. What do we got up here? Do we have another fib up here? Way up here. We have to start looking at the bigger picture. Excuse me, this could go way, way higher. So, you know, NVIDIA can move that 30 whatever dollars it was. So, when people start jumping on, then it just, it just shoots for the moon or, or to, to hell, to the bottom of the canyon, depending on which way it's going. To the center of the earth or to the moon. We want to get religious here. Now it's coming back down here again, and I'm losing a little bit of confidence in it. So I am getting ready to reverse, guys. But the position's so good, we can hold. I'm, I'm uh, getting close to my time, but we can... Uh... Wow. So our lowest number's... 400 on 25 shares way to go guys and you add that up for a week that's 1600 so and those are the people that are at 600 there you know you're doing uh 3, bucks in a week so i wasn't adding that whole time <laughs> i was starting to look at this it's just like continuing to go wow For those of you that didn't know, I used to be a math professor, so I can add, but I am getting old, so dementia is setting in possibly. I don't know. I don't want to make light of that. Sorry. I'm not going to... How would I know, though? <laughs> I know a lot of people... Families are struggling with that. I can't think of a more hideous thing. I want the whole Bruce Willis thing, man. What is that disease called? God, that freaked me out. They should have stopped him from making movies. Some of his last three or four movies were just, in my opinion, tragic. Like, he had no, like, emotion going. I was like, they were just, it seemed like they were just making money, you know, with him. And I guess it kind of pissed me off. But maybe he wanted to stay busy. I don't know the in inside of what was going on there. Um, yeah, if you want to talk about Bruce Willis, then learn about day trading. <laughs> I do go off. Um, I always liked him, though. I liked his movies, so I just, so sad, you know. Yeah, this is kind of up and down, up and down now. Uh, I mean, we had that big drop, which scared me, which is this candle. So now we have a, it's not a dragonfly because it's at the top. Dragonflies would be at the bottom. So, yeah, so this is the next, it's doing this again. But we're over the 200. So before we were down here and I was thinking, well, if it drops below 200, I was looking at the money like I should just flip around and, and, and bank that, you know. Um, but now I am at my time. So I thought there might be a chance to go for a thousand bucks here, but it's looking like, uh, look at how the buyers are starting to drop off here. So, we're losing confidence in this upward move. I mean, it's still pretty strong here. It might might pull it up here. Uh, still got to go to work. Got more coffee. 800. Look at that. 25 shares. 800, guys. We could do it. That's why everybody wanted to do NVIDIA today, because there were high hopes of, <laughs> wow, is it going to break that four hour? But right at 887 market maker look here it did it a couple times that was 883 882 
I mean, 82 cents, I'm saying, uh, 80, 80, 82, nine. Oh, wow, I broke 89. Okay, so I'll hold here a little longer, guys. See if we can pull it up here. You just never know. We might get up to this fib. I mean, we might just keep going, obviously. Because you know how it just does it sometimes. But NVIDIA is weird, too. This is as high as I go is up here, 97. I think that's right near the high of day. That was the, uh, there's a high of, uh, I mean, high ever, all time high up there somewhere. Um, I think it's 97, maybe. Holy crap. How did that phrase get started? Who wants to look that up? Holy crap. Is that a monk using the loo from way back when? What does that mean? I mean, we know it means S-H-I-T is what you mostly hear, but why is it holy? It means surprise, but what's the origin? It's always fun to find out these things. Please put it in the comments, because I have no idea. For those of you still watching this show of cats interrupting trading and talking about Bruce Willis, and please put in the comments, how did the phrase, holy crap, start? One less thing I have to look up. Please. That was a request. See if you're paying attention or if you're all tuned out. Wow, I, it's on the fib now. I mean, if it's going to turn around, this would be a spot or it's just going to keep going. I can't trade. I have to stop trading pretty soon, guys, either way. So um, I just, I'm not going to get out with this straight up move. So I, I, can, I can wait a little longer. I'm, I'm really looking for 1K. If it actually does that, I'll get out. That's my, that's my, uh, my goal now. I've made a goal that I thought was totally impossible, but wow, that means sell, not reverse. See how I make that mistake a lot. Going up to that four hour. That's it. 94. We're at 91 right now. Market maker 91. So yeah, it should, uh, no, it could go. Yeah, 94 would do it. Yeah, 94 would put me over. No, it's fading, of course. Yeah. And you got a gravestone here, which is going to turn it around. Yep, this is going to turn it around right here. Maybe. I mean, that's it's a, it's a sign that it's going to turn around. So I'm going to get ready to get out on this fib, guys. If, it bounce, if it's bouncing back up to the fib, I'm looking to get it out unless it bounces, unless it blows right through it. We're getting some weird shadow wick action here. Whoa, 92. Can it hit 93? It's going to 93. It just keeps going up. 92.50. Yeah, I'm not going to make a 1,000 because I got to go. So I'm just going to take that. What did I get it at? 92.54. What? There it goes. Of course. Oh, there it goes. Wow. Isn't that the way, right? That's probably a 1,000 for me right there. Anyway, guys, I hope you like what you saw. Remember, there's so many different videos, a video that, that helps you see which way the market's going to go every day, a video to help set up your scanner so you don't have to pay for a service, depending on what type of stock you trade. The scanners show different styles. How to build these layouts on your own so you don't have to worry about getting copies. And there's copies of them. And all the custom scripts, scripts for all kinds of things that help you with your platform. Right, they're all for free, guys. There's no hidden uh, tricks here. All right, well, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you down the road, guys. Stay green.